I wanted to show you this picture. It's taken at my grandfather's wake in 1979. Look, look very carefully. That's me. You see how sad my face is, how tormented it is. Well, it's important that you take a good look at that picture because I want you to know that my mother laughed at me. She laughed at me for crying, for being so broken when my grandfather died. This is just so important that you get this. Because so many people are talking about color, black people, white people, Mexican, whatever, ethnicity, and pointing fingers. Children, it has nothing to do with color. It is purely spiritual. We are involved in a in spiritual warfare. It's truly spiritual warfare. Uh, demons. People suffer with demon possession. Of course, it can happen. If you believe Jesus, who cast out demons, then you know demons exist. Well, who's been casting out demons in the last 2,000 years? And how does one acquire a demon? I don't know. I can only surmise. I can only guess. The fact that my mother uh, worked conjure, voodoo, uh, she was a soothsayer, uh, whatever you want to call her, that's fact. And she did so many demonic things, it's obvious she was possessed with a demon. I just want to warn young ladies that have been contaminated by women such as my mother who say things like, you're sitting on a gold mine. That's whorish. Get an education, get a job, get your own money, pay your own rent. Um, certainly, put God first and God only. Do not Seek out the root workers. I have to say this and I'm going to get off. I have some relatives that won't have anything to do with me because they just so love my mother. They don't know. She hated them too. She, you, If you knew the things she said about you, you would not be so passionate about them. I won't even tell you. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Love who you want to love. It is spiritual warfare. But my Bible tells me to honor my grandfather. They tell me that a good man will leave an inheritance for his family. My grandfather left 65 acres of land, a house, uh, a pond, an allotment. And my mother made sure it all got squandered away. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. Study your Bible. Follow one motherless child dot blogspot dot com. We'll talk.